Today is Wednesday, May 20th, and you may notice, boys and girls, that this week I forgot to include your partner play. We've always done a partner play for so long, and I forgot to include it when I had the copies made, and so guess what I did? I made the copies of the partner play, and I put them in the mail to you, so you will get, hopefully today, Wednesday, you'll get the one that says Wednesday, but just in case you don't get it today, I wrote or Saturday. So you can do this partner play on Wednesday if you have it then, or you can do it on Saturday. It's the awesome anaconda. Do you know what an anaconda is? This is what it is, it's a snake. So read that partner play with a partner or by yourself at your house when you get it in the mail. I sent a surprise in there too, some stickers. You'll have to see what kind they are. So beginning um, after, since we don't have a partner play, this is the first thing you have in front of you today and you are using your um, paper to sort spelling words. We've done this for a long time. This should be very familiar to you and we're looking for the um, letters that say ah. Those are all the different ways to say ah. So here we have ball, sauce, small, tot, paw, chalk, jaw, walk, pause, and sought. And so you are going to look at the spelling words in the box, write the spelling words that match the spelling pattern in each word below. So this is call, and it's just the letter A, and in this case, they both end with LL, the ones that you're adding there, so we have ball. I'm gonna put an X by it and small. Continue with your words like that to sort them by the way the vowel sound, or the vowel is, yeah, the vowel sound is um, made. And then at the bottom, you're going to circle the word after you read each word, circle the word that does not fit the pattern of the vowel sound. So here we have ball, walk, walk, and small. So they all say ah, 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 but two of them say it the same way spell it the same way, this one doesn't match. You're going to look at the next one, pause, sauce, and tot. So even though they all have AU, this one has A-U-G-H, and those G, the G and H don't talk, and so this is different than these. So continue doing these the same way. Next is our vocabulary words for our reading this week. We've gone over those Monday and Tuesday. I'll read them. Curious, distance, Earth's resources, or Earth resources, enormous, gently, proudly, rarely, and supply. Today is the day that you make frayer squares with your words. So let's start with, I'm going to write enormous in here. Enormous, it means very large. So a synonym would be large. And an antonym, the opposite, would be small. There are other words that you could use that mean small or the opposite of enormous too. See if you can think of some. Um, an illustration, I think I'm gonna just draw a giant. Um, can you tell what I'm drawing? It's kind of a rough picture there. Can you tell what that is? It's an elephant with a big ear. This elephant is enormous. It's really, really big. All right, then used in a sentence, I will say the enormous elephant um, is wrinkly. All right, and then definition, enormous means very large, and I'd write that right there. So you can use the word enormous or another one, and yet another word down here, and do your frayer squares. The next thing you're going to do is read this very interesting story about Earth's resources. You're going to read about rocks and minerals. This is an expository text, and um, there's a chart here, a graph, there's uh, more information about saving our resources, um, and it's very interesting to learn about taking care of Earth's resources. 
So you can learn about the rocks and minerals over here. Um, these details are a little hard to read, but I'm also going to record this and have it available for you to um, watch and listen to. All right, and then you'll be doing more about Earth's resources and taking good care of the Earth um, later in the week. Okay, have a good day.